This is the picture I found. Okay, first of all, first of all, this is very thoughty of me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm putting out a lot of thought energy, like, like T H O T, out into the YouTube world right now. You know what's crazy to me is that I thought I was fat here. I mean, I was fat, but I was like a P H A T fat. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> I hate myself. I look at that photo and I'm like, dang, you thought you were so kind of overweight in a sense. And like, yeah, I was thick, but it just goes to show that we're never happy. We're never happy with where we're at. And, duh, I'm not gonna get started on society. I'm really not gonna get started on the beauty industry and the diet industry and the diet culture and the weight loss industry and all those billion dollar corporations and businesses that put in so much time and effort to making sure we hate ourselves all the time. I'm not gonna get started on them. This isn't about them. This is about us, okay? It just goes to show that like, wow, I look back at these pictures and I'm like, oh, I'd kill to be that size again. But when I was that size, I thought I was fat. I thought I was overweight. I thought I didn't look good. And so like, moral of the story is just freaking love yourself. Like love yourself exactly where you're at, right here, right now. Because next year you might wish you were back here. And it's like, we're, chasing this thing this image this body this thing that doesn't exist it's all it's all up in here it's all made up while it's good to have goals which i have like i have that up on my whiteboard in my room i am my own goal it's great to have goals it's just i just wanted to pop in and remind you to just embrace and love yourself where you're at too while you're striving to be where you want to be okay bye i'll see you later Good morning, week two of um, losing fat, losing weight. Today feels like a, an aggressive kind of day. Today I feel like punching some things. We're gonna, we're gonna box today. That's what I've been in the mood to do, fight. Should we, should we look into that? Maybe. No, it's good to let out some aggression here and there. Time to show the world that up is what I strive for Greatness is a journey I'm willing to strive for Consistency is key and I don't take no time off Against the odds I put it all on the line for A lesson learned for every flaw I'm gonna make Consequence I undertake Putting all my trust and faith Failure won't become my fate Ten toes down I never fall Give it all to reach my goal That's my name is stone when my story's told Say I did it for the on a battlefield, there lies a real warrior. Many tried and failed, but I remain victorious. Strip away my fame, all the money, glamour, and gold. But you can never take my soul, no. I'm in it for the glory. I'm in it for the glory. I'm in it for the glory. Second win, I feel reborn, just eating up, just getting warm They had their rain, I came to storm Overcome obstacles when I perform If they're impossible, I'll take it on If you're not willing to risk with this average You're gonna settle for what is the norm Can you feel it? Cross before the honor, what I pledge Can you feel it? Not afraid to jump over the ledge Perseverance I just play with problems are ahead Others inspire to be avaricious, but instead I want the glory Keep the cash, I want the credit Immortality is being remembered when you exit Confidence is key, anything I want or I'ma get in my control Failure can only manifest if I let it Show them I'm a warrior, develop through it all Made it out the rebel, I survive in any war Know that there's a win outside of every single loss Make it known when my story comes across That I did it for the on a battlefield, there lies a real warrior. Many tried and failed, but I remain victorious. Strip away my fame, all the money, glamour, and gold. But you can never take my soul, no. I'm in it for the glory. I'm in it for the glory. I'm in it for the glory. Wow, 
I like barely get anything. Um. I'm dead. Are you leaving? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I'm so nostalgic right now. How many years has it been? 20 years. I'm 20, yeah, Cup San Bernardino. Master here. San Bernardino. Mish? Okay, Cup San Bernardino? No, I get a pin. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look crazy, but I asked my mom to make these for me like last week because I saw them on a YouTube channel. You know it's a fried pancake, right? It's like a fried pancake. A fluffy fried pancake. She made them and we haven't had them in like 20 years. I look crazy. Let me show you what one of my favorite meals is this week. It's so good. Okay, come on. I'm salivating just thinking about it. <laughs> um, we're not gonna talk about my nails, okay? Okay. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been. Also, maybe one day we can go through like all my scars and. Okay, so. Hi, hi. First thing we're gonna do is soak our soy curls. They're absolutely my favorite thing right now. They are like a chicken substitute. They're amazing in stir fries and salads and anything really. Nutritional facts, 11 grams of protein per serving, 120 calories per serving. It's genuinely like a meat substitute. So they come, they look like this. They're kind of crunchy and you soak them in hot water for about 10 minutes. And then I just saute them with a little bit of like soy sauce or um, cocoa aminos, a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it up. And ugh, unreal. Put it in there. Add hot water. It doesn't need to be boiling. It just needs to be hot, like from the sink. Yeah, and then we just kind of let it do its thing. It will soften up and it'll become like a meat texture and I'll show you that in a second. And then, ladies and gentlemen, ooh wee. Chopped salad kit, it comes with all the makings. It comes with a sauce that is all right, but we're gonna add our own little pizzazz to it. We're gonna add some peanut butter, some soy sauce. We're just gonna make it great. We're gonna take it from good to great. And I just open this up, throw it in a bag, and it serves the whole family. And it's delicious. Just dump it on in here. It also comes with these like wonton things. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. So I'm gonna first warm up the peanut butter just because it's a little thick and hard to uh, mix. I can hear my brother's voice saying, Measure it. It's haunting me, guys. But he's right, I should, have me I should measure this. This is about two tablespoons, I think. No, I'm gonna, not gonna use it to mix. I'll get another spoon. See, see? Oh, sweet. I need a fork this time. And then we take the packets that the salad came with. Snip, snip. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Pull it up, pull it up. Watch it all fall up. It's just not quite enough on its own. It just didn't hit, it didn't hit, you know what I mean? Peanut butter really takes it over the top. Then we're gonna add a splash of tamari, AKA, it's like a soy sauce substitute. Just a little, a little dash of that. Actually, we're gonna go for agave. Agave, a little bit of that. Like literally half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna whip her up, whip it up. <laughs> so I actually, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. This is what the soy curls look like at this point. If you were to pick one up, it's a texture of chicken. I'm gonna drain it and then I'm gonna saute it. I'm gonna skip out on the oil just because why? We don't need the calories, right? Put the soy curls in there. So I'm gonna add cocoa aminos. And that is nowhere near enough. So I'm gonna add some soy sauce. And maple syrup. The sweetness of the maple syrup kind of balances out the saltiness of the soy sauce. And then it just ends up being this really amazing flavor. So if you like that sweet and savory combo, 
And that's it, folks. I'm gonna let that cook. Let's toss the salad. Look, they're nice and browned and just beautiful, delicious. All that's left to do is toss the salad. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it until it feels normal, okay? All right. Toss in the salad, toss the salad, toss her up, toss her up. What does it even mean? Don't answer that. Now I'm gonna eat. And there she is, folks. Lunch is served. Oh, I just caught myself talking to myself. I talk to myself so much. It's getting kind of creepy. Coffee and a salad, <laughs> ew. Hi, what's up? It's time for our check-in. The week is over. Week two of our fat loss series has come to an end. So we're here to check in and to update you guys as I promised. You'll never guess what happened. 1.6 pounds. I'm not gonna front. I was on my period this week. I was like, I'm gonna get on the scale. I'm gonna gain three pounds. I'm so nervous. Like, what am I gonna say to the people? I have to be honest. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. This whole series is about the ups and the downs and the fluctuations. So I was like, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a mess. It's going to be a complete mess, but I lost 1.6 pounds. I weighed myself actually way in day with the last day of my period. So glory be to God. Oh, snap. It's working. It's, oh my God. Your girl love. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was feeling myself. The goal next week is two pounds. If we could do 1.6 we can do two, okay? You know what I'm saying? Are you catching my vibe? I wanna like pop my ish. I wanna like go off and be like, I did that. And then I just keep having this vision of me weighing in next week and it moving 0.2 pounds or it not moving at all and me being so embarrassed that I was talking so much crap. You know what? That's the journey. That's, that's life. That is the ups and the downs of a weight loss journey. So I'm gonna em embrace this moment. I'm gonna talk my, I'm gonna pop my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this moment. I'm gonna take it in. We did that and we can only hope for better or for equal or better results next week. It is just cool to know that it is just that simple when it boils down to numbers and science. Like if you just follow this strategy and this formula, you should get the results that you want. And it's proving to be true. And it is so cool to be proving that with you guys, like at, together. Um, energy levels were great. I did not feel as exhausted as I did in last week's vlog, which I'll put up here if you haven't seen it yet. Make sure you click that link and watch that. Keep up with me week by week so you can like really get the full story. Watch it unfold. Watch my body change. I'm hitting up Bali for my 30th birthday. I'm gonna put that out into the world. We need to we need to you know what i'm saying you catching what i'm putting out there we need to snatch it up okay so let's grade ourselves real quick right because that's what we're doing i didn't meal prep but i did cook at home and i ate at home all week um with the exception of three days out of the week i ate at work the next week i wonder what week i'll successfully meal prep i'm very curious to see what week that's gonna be where i actually meal prep don't judge me. The other goal was working out three to four times a week. We did that three days this week. Two of them were pretty intense workouts and the other was just a, a day that I focused on my ankle and my uh, strength in my left leg. So those days are pretty easy. And then the last goal was to drink more water and I think I did that. I'm gonna give myself a B minus because I still can do a lot better. Anyways, I love you babes. Be good to each other, be kind, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.